Hello everyone and welcome back to I Love Editorix. So many of you asking me about this one, uh, how to change text selection color. So actually it's super super easy. Um, so first of all, uh, I, I Google it and I found this source uh, from uh, W3 School, how to change text color text selection color okay and you can actually play with it right here so here we have an example of you can see right here the CSS properties uh, there is the selection it's it's double because it's need to support in all browsers and this one is for Firefox okay so in this example you can see that uh, if I select the the text so now it's uh, the color is red and the background is yellow okay um, so to apply this effect in editor X actually it's super easy all you need to do you can copy from this style uh, until the close of style and you can just copy it and let's copy it and I will go to the dashboard of my site and it should be a, a premium site because I need to add custom code and let's add another uh, code element all right so you click here on the blue button uh, add custom code and I just paste it right here all right and let's give it a name uh, custom mm, color uh, text text selection color and it's pure CSS and I want to apply it on all pages and load once and I put it right in the head because it's CSS all right so let's apply it and let's go to our site and refresh the page and now before it was red when I selected now you can see that the background is is yellow and the selection area uh, and, and the text itself is red right so let's uh, remove it just for now so let's do it like this and refresh it again so this is the default right it's blue uh, blue color okay with some transparency as you can see you can see the text behind of it all right and in my example it was pure yellow okay so let's do it again you see it's pure yellow and here it's cover a, a little bit text and it's hiding it so how we can override it basically you can add some transparency uh, to the color itself so if I will search for the selection uh, style that I, I was applied selection and I will find it right here so instead of yellow we need to find something uh, with transparency right so um, you know what I can add class and set it to be selection and I can say the background will be yellow and I will play with the transparency so now you can see that the transparency I can I can have control about it not transparency like this and I can copy this hex color and change it right here in my custom code so instead of yellow it will be this hex color it's yellow with trans transparency and let's refresh our page and now wait and now you can see that I have some transparency all right um, so basically that's it this is the basic but now we can uh, dive uh, a bit deeper all right so what we do right now is is we are we setting a custom color for the selection text selection 
but it's global. It will apply on all your uh, site text elements. Okay. But what if I would like to create a different style for my heading, which is the H1 element, um, and different one for, for the paragraph. Okay, so we need specify it. So specific uh, style for the H1 uh, element, all right? So this is global. This will apply for a each time we select something uh, but if we need to specify for the h1 element so we can copy these lines I will add a comment here uh, that says this style is for the heading so heading style style, style. all right and here we would like to create a different style okay so instead of color it will let's say it will be blue blue in both and the background will be let's say black all right so all we need to do we need to specify here h1 all right h1 i will remove this all right so let's run it and now you can see that when i select the h1 element this one i get the ba black background and blue text color and all the rest is still uh, red and yellow okay so let's copy it and add it to our code so let's go right here and select it from here to here and let's click apply but look what happened when I refresh my site it's not working okay it's still yellow and and, and red okay uh, so let's inspect this text element and here you can see that it's actually a span element we, which is within the h1 tag okay this is often happen in in, in uh, when you inspect the text element you see sometimes an h element tag or paragraph with span in it especially when we are talking about text um, uh, responsive text text scale so we need to cover both cases okay um, so how can we uh, cover it so basically we can say something like this i will copy uh, this style and i will add another one but this one will be h1 with span in it all right but we need to divide it with uh, this and so basically all h1 when you select them this will be the style and also all h1 that has span in it or all spans that are located inside an h1 all right so let's do it again i will sorry i will copy it right from here and add span all right so let's copy it and let's go to our site and update our code our style and paste it and let's go here refresh it and refresh it again and now you can see that for my h1 element which is actually a span element because it's inside the h1 i get uh, the black background and blue text color and here it's still yellow and green on and uh, red all right uh but what if i don't want i i i, I would like also uh, uh, only the text to change its color but i don't want this black background so actually it's really simple instead of specify a color we can we can change it to transparent 
and if I would run it so you can see I can all, 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 only select the call the, the background slowly the call and you can do the same for the background right so this will be blue and this will be transparent You see, it's like you delete the text. If it would be black, it will be even more beautiful. See, it's like you erased it, erased it. All right, so that's it. Uh, let's apply just the transparent in our site because it's nicer. Uh, so the background will be transparent and also right here, let's apply it. and it's working awesome right uh so that's it i hope you enjoyed it uh if you succeed please share it with us in the comments and till next time keep building amazing sites on edit rigs